Good morning. I'm back here at Supercar Sunday, brought to you by Porsche Woodland Hills. And uh, when Addy drove in today, I didn't hear him. I didn't hear you today. Oh, he's taking a nap. Are you taking a nap today, sir? All, all the work helping me set up wore you out? No, it's working on my bobcat that wore me out in the past two weeks. <laughs> oh my God. So when you drove up today, I didn't hear the VW engine sound. Uh -oh. That's quintessential with any VW. Correct. Why is that? Because it doesn't have an engine. What does it have? A motor. <laughs> okay. Electric motor. How long have you had this one? Maybe two or three years, something like that. Wow. Oh man, look at that. That is a big motor in there. It's too fast for the uh, for the body of this car. Seriously. Where did you find it? Bring a trailer. Believe it or not. And you had to have it. Why did this speak to you? First, I think they're like some of the coolest cars ever made. Although I was watching a video about how long they took him to design this thing. You know, you go into all these Italian cars and things and they take months or years to design. You know how they design this thing? How? Piece of paper and they say, okay, we're gonna make a car. And they did this. It's gonna be like this, this, like this, like this, like this. Seriously. Because look, there's hardly any design to it really. They just make it, made a rectangular and originally put it on a Volkswagen bug. Like, I think it was a 1.3 liter originally, okay. and it was very slow, and then it so what up. So if you pull up next to a Tesla, and you're gonna race, and you're electric powered VW, how fast is this? Top speed? Well, I mean, zero to 60 estimate. No, no I don't know, because I don't want to break stuff. But, but it's gotta be, the torque's it, gotta it, be insane, like any yeah, other electric yeah, yeah, car, I right? Know. But look, it, it's different than a Tesla, in a way that it still has the gearbox and the clutch. How interesting. So you could put it in third gear and drive. It has okay. no problem. But you may hit the uh, the maximum RPM of the motor, which is 8,000. Okay. It's maybe, I don't know, on a third gear, maybe at 60 or 65 miles per hour. So then you can shift to fourth and keep going. So top no, speed, I 90. For, I forgot you had this because I had to record four DYI, do-it-yourself electric vehicles, homemade or, you know, not a Tesla, not a, not a Chevy Volt or Bolt or whatever it is. And I forgot you had this. I could have put this on the dyno and recorded it. So many people, there, there's, I was on all of the electric car forums trying to find somebody who had something like this. Really? Oh yeah, 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 very oh. challenging. Huh. And we've done over the years a lot of electric cars, but now in the video game space, they're putting in a lot more electric cars because the younger demographic, the kids are playing, want to play electric so what cars. They, what kind of sound? They, they all make different sound. Oh, really? Yeah. And then some of them are married like with Chevy Volt parts, with Tesla parts, and, and it's mix and match, and people are buying stuff off eBay and making them and buying the kits. And um, This one has Tesla battery. Yeah. See, the batteries are sitting here. Yeah, probably Tesla batteries and, right and uh, Chevy controllers, here. possibly. Wow. You see? Now, the the person you bought it off on Bring a Trailer, did he build it or he bought it from someone else? EV West did it. Ah, EV West. So I called EV West to get the cars to try to record. Some people... So think how far have you driven this thing? Not too far. I think that... No, not far. It drives great. It, it's fantastic. It's just... It's a little unsafe. In because what way? In the speed of oh. the of this vehicle now, I think it will go more than 90 miles per hour. Ooh. These were not 90 miles per hour vehicles. You know, suspension, the did top they, heavy. Did they upgrade the brakes or suspension or they just made electric? They just made electric. They didn't upgrade. But this has got to be one of the early EV West cars, right? Yeah, early. Be yeah, that's what the guy, the guy that came to your show, he said that's one of their it's got disc, original. disc in front, drum in the back. Yes, I don't know if these are real or fake. Porsche, you see? These. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fake? Fake or real? I don't know, the Fuchs, I don't know. I don't know, Seal has what? 
It has a drum, right? Drum on the back, disc in the front. Disc in the front. It doesn't have a booster. Okay. Okay, so look. But there's no vacuum from the engine if it was a hydro boost or something like that. Yeah, but you can you can do electric. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. it doesn't have it, so it doesn't really stop AC? that well. N no air conditioning. Heat? Huh? Heat? No. No heat. I don't think. No. So the, the funny part is I, I told... But it has, look, it has a really nice sound system. Well, I, I told Addy this morning that if I if I was if I was in one of my old classic cars at a stoplight, he pulled up in this. And, you know, I'm into my convertible Mustang, '66 Mustang, and he goes, "Oh, I've got an old Mustang." I said, oh, "Okay, well, you know, I've got an old Camaro," and he goes, "Oh, well, I have a Porsche 959." And I, I saw I don't him. Tell anybody I have 959 because it sounds austerity. <laughs> well, I'm just okay. Pick some other car. Row 80. Row 80. There we go. And I would say, <laughs> I have a row well, 80. up until a week ago, I didn't know what that was. Okay. <laughs> I have a row 80. <laughs> Here's a row 80. I'd say, sure you do. Everybody knows what a row 80 is. Now they will. I'm almost done with the video. I'm almost yeah. done with the video. Yeah. I was editing it last night. Row 80. Row 80. Yeah. 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 NSU. NSU row 80. I, last, I didn't know what an NSU was until last week. And uh, in any event, in any event, you know, this is really, really interesting part of your collection. What? This car. Yeah. It's, look, the interior is beautiful. I have beautiful. another one. I have another one which is a 21 windows. Oh, do you? Yeah. Gas or electric? Gas, but it has an upgraded, I think they put a 2.1 or 2.3 Porsche motor in it. Is that what it is? Or maybe it's a Volkswagen with a dual Weber because the, the other one goes up the hill and it has some power. Right. With these, now, the 21 windows no. are bringing all the money these days. Highly, highly collectible. Over 100,000. Unbelievable. Huh? Years ago, he had, he had finished restoring one. He 21 pull, window? Pulled up at the car show, and somebody walked up and said, I have to have it. And uh, How many years? God, it must be 15 years by now. You got nothing for it. Really? No. Well, I know who bought it, and the guy said, I have to have it. And he says, it's not for sale. And the guy pulled out a blank check, wrote a number. He goes, how about for this? And That's the story. I don't know if that's true or not, but that was, that was the rumor the car guys were talking about. I think now they're over 100. Yeah, you can't get them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you can't get them. Yeah. yeah. So, but they're really nice. Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah, we got a handful that come here that just look spectacular. Yeah. Are you excited about the car I'm going to bring, potentially, if I clear custom next week? Another car that nobody's seen? No, because there's no, there is none in the U.S. Not okay, the so if the Row 80 is your favorite car, yeah. where? It's my favorite car. Doesn't really matter. Row 80 always been my favorite. Car. What are you doing? It's a Row 80. So, well, you guys, I, I'm almost done editing the video. I, I got a little backlog. I was busy with work and stuff. Uh, it's really interesting because the row, look up NSU, the letters NSU, Row R O 80, right? Yes. R O 80. And Addy has a spectacular collection, as you guys have been seeing. And when you see this car, when I saw it, I thought, ah, it's just another car, until I got educated by Addy and a handful of other guys at the car show. First you were mocking me a little bit, and I got upset with you. Well, we sometimes mock each other. So, but I didn't realize, in all fairness, I didn't realize that that, that car, from the wor your words and other people's words, was basically the paradigm or the template that Audi, BMW, and Porsche all kind of emulated. The Mercedes. 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 So where does this new car coming in on your hierarchy of Audi cars, where is it at? And what is it? It's my rarest. What is it? It's a Bristol Fighter. But what motor does it have? A Viper V10, generation two. So it's made in England. Okay but has a Chrysler motor in it because the Bristol car company is, we made a video about the red Bristol. No, that's the one no. that, about the, I think so. how Did to we? open the, it's the one to open yeah. the the gas in the back that is this weird. The one where you were mocking me? No, I was just, no, 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 I was just <laughs> challenging you to find it because look, I wasn't challenging you because- No, stupid. we were having fun. No, we, were, we always I have could fun. Not, I could we not always find have fun. it. I had to call England and ask the guy, how do I put gas in this car? Listen. I get in and out of a lot of cars every day with all the different car stuff I do. Yeah. And nowadays I get in these electric cars and I can't figure out how to start half of them. Yeah. I, I really, I've got to call people and say, I'm in, I'm in the new Aston Martin, where's the start button? I was in, I was in a uh, McLaren Alva and I was in a 296 Ferrari for some studio work. And I'm going, where the hell's the start button on these things? 
Yeah. It's all. Typically, it is a push button, no? Push button, but but if it's on a digital screen, then you have to tap the screen to turn the screen on to see it, like the or swipe the Tesla. If you don't know to swipe, you know who who makes it reasonably easy to use? Chevy. Honda. Chevy, Honda maybe and Chevy. <laughs> Right, there's no question how to start a Chevy right. Spark or Chevy Bolt or Chevy Volt or whatever. You know, there's a little blue yeah. button that says start, right. and that's it. And everything in this in the Chevy car is not okay. You have to go to school or you have to watch YouTube video right. to figure out some of the Range how... Rover SUVs. You got to take the key fob and put it over here and touch the button over there. And there's all these nuances to each manufacturer. It's just, it's just too much. It's too much. You know, they're just making it so. It's well, difficult to figure out if you have one car, if you have side. if you have one car and you don't do car stuff for work, but when you're getting in and out of all these different cars every day, like this, people ask me, why do I lab label all that stuff? Because I don't remember yeah. what the switches do, you know, the regen and I put down position is a regen. Right. So I would know, you know, and and this one is not smart enough to know if it's a 110 or 220 to charge. Oh, interesting. It so doesn't switch to... automatically. So you have, to so you have a 220 and a 110. So if, okay. you, if you plug the 220 into the 110, does it pop a fuse or something? I've never, I don't do stupid shit like that. <laughs> I was just curious because I don't know. I don't. I don't know much about the EV stuff. No, no. Look, it's almost like okay. I'm gonna take my 110 device to Europe right. and plug it into the 220. My radio, portable radio, that's not designed to work on multiple right. voltages. Right. You right. don't burn it. Right. Right. So I don't do it. So I had to figure out the other way is not a problem. If you put 220. If you leave it on 220, you can plug anything you want. It's just not going to work on a 110. Right. So that's a safe mode. Okay. And then, you know, I didn't even know what's full charge and all that. Hey, it yeah, well, there's a lot to remember. Huh? There's a it's lot a hard, to remember. Exactly. Uh, so, you know, what they did here is they still kept the clutch. Yeah. And so the guy who sold it to me said that he wanted to see how quick. You asked me how quick this thing, zero to 60. So can you imagine starting in first gear and that and floor it? So that's what he did. Okay. What did he, what happened? You think he didn't make spun the tires? No, he broke the gearbox. Oh, uh, too much torque. Yeah. Years ago, we're going back probably five or six years ago. There's a a guy who had a I drove it. 280Z we recorded and I had to drive it up on the flatbed and down the flatbed and onto the dyno and I was it was so strange to me because I couldn't figure out if it was going to launch forward and it wasn't my car and yeah so next week to Bristol yep yeah so okay so that the, the yeah and this is the official company vehicle for rock and rescue and we'll show that, that is really what matters to me this and what's this it's saving well, this so if you're, if you're if you're in the San Fernando Valley, Southern California, and you want to rescue an animal, and you're a car person, start here. Look here first. And in fact, the, the website is rr dot dog. Rr dot dog. If you don't know that there is a dot dog, it's, oh, it's, it's a funny. dot com. No, it's a dot dog. Well, somebody in my RR. Uh, on my girl my my daughter's soccer team told my wife, oh, we rescued this uh, we rescued a dog. And she says, maybe your husband knows the guy because apparently the guy's a car guy. And Heather says, well, who's the guy? And she goes, a guy named Maddie. She started laughing. She says, they're together every Sunday making videos. They're good friends. That's what matters to me more. You know, the I car, the car comes second. Uh, people think that, that that's my right. The thing that, you know, saving animals, uh, sometimes talking to people not to eat them and all that, that, imp that is important to right. me.